Hello, everybody. I've got a confession to make. And by confession, I really mean a blatantly obvious statement that almost everybody is aware of, but I'm finally coming to terms with. And that Skyrim is old. As fuck. And clunky. And majorly outdated. I mean, hell, it was released on the PS3, for Christ's sakes. But I'm tired of it. I've decided that my Skyrim needs to compete with other, open-world, major RPGs of 2023. Because fuck it. Why not? If The Witcher needs a next-gen update, then this right here is Skyrim's. And I'm going to show you how to get it. First things first, just go head on over to www.novis.net. This is the official website for the beautiful mod list I was just showing off in those previous clips. For Novis Natural Lighting 4, or the Redux version, for people with PCs who aren't as strong. But I also have a second fix if that's your problem later. The first thing you're going to want to do is just make an account with Novis. I'm already logged into mine, so I... Don't need to do any of that. Then go ahead and read through the introduction and requirements. It will tell you about uh, what you need to do before you install the list. Then go ahead and download their updater exe off the links. It'll go ahead and just download to your downloads folder. That'll take about a minute or so. Alrighty, and then after the adapter or the updater file downloads off of the browser, just go ahead and stick it onto a folder titled Nulvis. I like to do it right in the base of my drive. This is my original one that I already have downloaded. This is the one I'm going to be showing you. So go ahead and let that run. And then we'll download the whole dashboard for you. Then it will run it. And here you would put in your guide, your Nexus API key, which I'm not going to do this on camera. I'm just going to hop on over. After it has you log into everything, I'll show you exactly what it looks like. So it'll initialize, connect to Nexus, connect to your uh, Novus account, and then here it would be blank, and it would, it would look something similar to this. And then you would be able to choose between Novus or Redux. It would look exactly like this. I'm just going to go, since I already have the regular one, which the regular one is what makes it really good. But the Redux is if you can't get frames, if you don't have necessarily, like as it says, it says a minimum 1080 recommended around a 2070. If you're having, if you're running something below around a 2060, 2070, I would go ahead and get this Redux and then send it, set it to the right resolution. And then you can go through and it'll automatically do that. Archiving is whether it'll have your downloads, like a whole section of downloads. So if you have the space, go ahead and do that. But if not, just keep it off. It'll take up way more space. I like to use the Nexus. And then I am not going to download it. You also need an afkmods.com. Uh, it'll have you log into it as the mod needs to be downloaded. So it will pause the install for you to log into AFK so you can't completely leave it unmonitored while it downloads anyway it'll start it'll look something very similar to this it'll it copies the game it uses the stock game so it doesn't touch your skyrim base one and then it'll download the whole game just like a wabba check install i'm going to not do that and then as soon as you would have that you would go to your instances when it's downloaded regularly See, I'm not going to do the Redux. I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of that. 
and then go to uh, MO2, and there's your mod organizer, or just open up your dashboard again. This is how I always launch it. When your install's done, it'll look like this. You'll have a new thing, a new instance. And then, since I have just a regular Nulvis, you just click play. Now here's the key for this mod list. I do not have a graphics card good enough to run this mod list properly. Uh, I have the minimum, or I have the recommended, I have a 2060, so the recommended almost for the Redux. However, I don't play the Redux, I much prefer Nulvis. And there's a key to how I get it to work. Very, very simple. I use PureDark's ENB, Upscaler mod test build off of his patreon. It is five dollars However, this mod is what allows me to play this at all and I have a video on how to install it uh, But typically it would not be here under ENB and reshade. There'd be nothing and Nothing else aside from my mod list has been altered uh, So then you would just click run As you would any other mod list and go back to the Nulvis. There are Nulvis MCM settings. So usually when you're finished, it'll tell you to have some to configure the settings. So if you have another monitor or or can Alt Tab have this pulled up in the background, it will pull you through the settings and exactly how to get those right. It does use MCM reorder, so not everything needs it, but like a matter of time and optimal potion and your dodge key. You need to configure all your buttons and everything like that. But aside from that, the game should just start loading. Mine does take a little bit longer than whenever it was first downloaded because I have the upscaler mod. These big lists, they have a lot of things to load, so usually it does take a while to load in. And then once you're in this menu, this is what the main menu for four looks like. If you had the Redux, it would just say Redux right next to the four. Okay. See, and now I, I already have some saves made already with some people. Uh, so normally continue wouldn't be there and a load would be grayed out and you would just press new game. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. So we just run through everything, see what it looks like when it's working, which this mod list does work with no problem. It is just when you get the ENB upscaler that there has adding that to the mod list does get tricky, but for the most part, adding it to this mod list is not very difficult. And there is support in the Discord for this mod list, which is also all available on the Nulvis website. The website's a really brilliant place. I'm not going to spend any time cussing my character, but as you see, I'm getting exceptionally good frames right now. Uh, definitely shouldn't be normally, that's because of the upscaler. Um, usually I'd be getting around 30 in here. I know cards that are, that can run this, like in the 30 series, they have no problem. So if you have a really high end card like that, you don't need to get anything like the upscaler. But for me, it's a, it's a must have absolutely amazing mod. It allows me to play this. So if you have not a very powerful card, I definitely higher, highly recommend adding it to your list. I also play with the ionize on medium which is one of the settings that is you will tick as you go through the automatic installer. But anyway, as soon as you load in, don't immediately start running around. Just let the let the task in the upper hand corner, uh, upper left hand corner, let them run through all the way. It's loading a lot of things into the game right now and messing with a lot of settings. So that's okay. Just let it do its thing. Alrighty, usually after it says the Odin items are added to the world, that's when it stops. So then just go ahead, go to your MCM, go down to MCM reorder, and just go ahead and run that bad boy. Don't be alarmed. All this, that's regular. Just say run recording. And you'll go ahead and read, yeah, it'll redo all your setup for you, all the MCM settings. Alrighty. I would highly recommend making a save as soon as everything's done so that you have something to go back to load into maybe you don't like how your start is or anything like that it's it's your first clean save so then just go ahead pick whatever 
whatever alternate start beginning you want. I'm just going to do the base one for the Nords. And then just hit the bed. And then same thing. As soon as you load in, give it a second. It's going to be running some things again. Just give it about 30 seconds. Enough time you think that it, it's doing all right. Yeah, and then just go outside. And then same thing, one last time, it's going to go ahead and run through the last of the things it needs to set up. But as you can see, this mod list is absolutely beautiful. The density in the grass, I know my character isn't that cool looking right now, but the character creation, the amount of, just the amount of hairstyle, skin, yeah, there's so much variety here. And then you're free to go explore this world. This is Nulvis. This is next-gen Skyrim. Oh god, I just killed Rorik of Rorik's dead. Oh lord! Anyways, I think that'll wrap it up for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, please drop a like and subscribe for more Skyrim stuff. Um, please comment down if you'd like me to download any other mod lists. I, I will do pretty much any content that you guys like. I will try to add DLSS to some more mods, show off some more mod lists, anything like that. Uh, just let me know. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, peace.